Okay, so now we're going to jump into an incredibly important topic that may sound simple but does have some nuances to it that I want you to be well aware of. And that is this concept of context, okay? Now, there's a, a few different ways that this is explained out there online, and I just have my own way, which I think is the simplest and easiest to understand this concept and how it actually works within Power BI, okay? Now, we'll start here in this video around evaluation context, and then we'll cover the other ones in the next couple of videos. Evaluation context is like the environment in which a calculation is being calculated in, okay? So just to really make clear that point, you know, it, it sounds a bit, a bit, um, you know, a bit, a bit broad. The way to think about it is every single result. So if we look at if these results in here, every single result in Power BI is calculated individually, okay? So when we, whenever we see a result like this, like 57,075, that one result is calculated individually, okay? And it is calculated utilizing the DAX measure that we write, right? So the DAX measure is working through, because remember there's no reference to cells or anything like that, the, the DAX measure is working, um, doing its work at every single result here. And that's, um, and, so a lot of computation if you think about it, okay? Now, why do we get different results? The reason why we get different results is because the environment in which that result is being calculated is different for each individual result. Because you've got to think that the in the environment can come from many different, um, uh, the, the environment can be created by many different things you do on a report page. And they can be things like, you can change the date time frame, right? So the environment's changing. You could say select something in a visualization, and then all of a sudden the environment is changing for this specific result and this specific result and this specific result. Okay, and the another so the way to, to more simply think about this is the evaluation context is changing. Okay, or the context just to simplify it even more, the context changes for every single result. The formula itself does not change. It's exactly the same. The measure is exactly the same. It's just the context in which it is calculated is different, okay? And that's what we deem evaluation context, okay? And it can be the same, and the, the evaluation context changes for every single result, even when you have a different dimension, right? And the it's easy, much easier, in my view, to, to when you're you know really trying to grasp this concept is to look at things in a table because you can actually see the values. But it's exactly the same for anything that's in a visualization. Like here, this is this is a singular result. This is a singular result. This is a singular result. The context in which these are being calculated is all different, and it becomes a lot clearer if you put it into a table, right? Because then you can say, okay, well the con this this is the context. This is the context. This is the context etc so context can come from a slicer can come from a visualization it, it can come with the, the dimension you know for, within a table or the axes okay and then that is going to determine what ultimate calculation you get once the dax formula goes and does its work right goes and does its um evaluating goes and works through its logic Okay, so that's always the beginning. And the evaluation context always happens before any calculation occurs. So when a measure goes and gets a result from, for you, it's actually a two-step process. The first step is it re tries to, or it has to recognize, well, what's the, the evaluation context? Then it goes and runs its calculation. The interesting thing about that second part, though, is it actually breaks off into two types of calculation engine, depending on which formula you are using. And that's the difference between filter context and row context, okay? And that's what we're gonna go over in the next couple of videos. Okay, so let's let's move on first and we'll jump into filter context, okay. 